to be clear. Wake up, buddy. Teacher, <laughs> student. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I misunderstood. This morning, he, she was mistaken as a student. Yeah, yeah. Um, first of all, I, I, not only thanks to the sponsors, but students, these people that are here that sponsor this event, <laughs> the, the sponsor these event. It's not just this event that they sponsor. This Vista is a strange place. It really is. I have never seen a community community so involved in everything that they do, and they make they seem to make education the center of it. Um, it, it it's kind of a bizarre thing. But the folks you see sitting at the back are not involved in just this. Tori's not involved in just this. They're involved in the community at large. So students, please know that when you go out and look at what's happening in Vista, there's a huge community at play here. It, it's impressive to me. I grew up in Escondido, and we never had that. This is pretty amazing, the opportunities that is given to students. And then the second thing for the students is, understand you guys are the best of the best. Most of you. Um, um, you guys really are the best of the best. It's hard to come up with names, sometimes really hard, um, but it's hard to come up with names for awards like this. <laughs> okay, Tony has a big character flaw, and I'm gonna, I'll let it out right now. He was one of my son's best friends last year when my son was at Trade Tech and graduated. So, you know, unfortunately, I know a lot about it. <laughs> um, so, but yeah, so students, understand that you guys really are the best at your school. You, you guys, when they have meetings and they talk about, uh, at my school, we have four right, rising stars a year. Four. I, it's not hard to come up with a name like Tony. It really is not. You, you look and you go, he just exemplifies. And each one of you do the same. You exemplify what a rising star is. It's pretty impressive. It's pretty amazing to, to sit and look at this. So thank you to the sponsors. Thank you to uh, everybody that came. Thank you to the parents for raising such amazing kids. We really do appreciate it. And I also want to thank the Vista community because the other thing too people don't realize, uh, Mr. Humphrey and myself run charter schools. In most cities, charter schools have a tough time because they're not necessarily accepted through the whole fold. Uh, Superintendent Doyle has made it his mission to make sure that the charter schools in Vista are a part of the whole program. And it's, it's unusual to get that kind of love, but again, it just goes with what Vista community is. It genuinely is pretty amazing <laughs> to have all the welcoming and experiences that we have. I would also, in addition to the sponsors here, I'd like to thank New Haven. This is their corporate office that they allow us to use. Yesterday was actually our senior portrait studio. Um, <laughs> but through the door is Trade Tech. Um, so yeah, traffic was tough this morning for me. I wasn't sure if I'd make it. Uh, but anyway, so yeah, it, it's amazing. But then we get to kids like Tony. It, it is pretty cool. Um, Tony tried a couple of different clubs on our campus and nothing really worked. So he started his own. <laughs> um, sadly, his club is probably better attended than most of the other ones. <laughs> because he found out what kids wanted to do. Um, last year, he actually managed what would be a very intimidating feat for adults, and that is he got my son off his computer to go over to his house. <laughs> That's a, something else, so I mean, but he institutes these things, and he starts programs that kids want to do. He really is an initiator of some of these things that uh, make schools a better place. So it, it's really kind of cool when uh, you have a student that actually is willing to reach out and is willing to extend what he has, and not everybody wants to do the, the things that he does, and he's okay with that. Uh, he's got a great sense of humor, he, he just rolls with it all, um, and he knows what he likes and what he doesn't. That's gonna get him far in the world. And he never, I've never heard a bad word from him. I've never heard him speaking down about anybody. I've never heard him uh, do anything but put people up. It's, Pretty amazing. So with that, I'm going to introduce Tony. Right, that, that's enough. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, let me just start with that that club. 
uh, it's Dungeons and Dragons Club, which I'm going to get to later. And these have to do with it. Welcome to Trisha. Um. Give me just a second. I am amazing at preparing ahead of time. There we go. Oh, wow, that's a thing. Okay. Okay, cool. That's great. So, um, yeah, a lot of, basically a lot of my, my time here has sort of, I don't want to say been defined from my Dungeons & Dragons stuff, but like, it made me be a more social person, right? And that got it so that I can actually talk to people uh, for various reasons. One, just because I was not social at all before. Um, and it was kind of miserable for everybody around me because I was always in a terrible mood, refusing to do anything. Uh, I think, like, for the one semester that I was at, what was it? It was a middle school. Was it San Alejo Middle School? Yeah, at that. Um, I just tanked my grades. For the one semester I was there, I think I was already feeling like almost everything, except maybe history. But that's just because I like history. Um, <laughs> And then for the semester after that, I was homeschooled. And that also went poorly. <laughs> um, then I started my freshman year here, which was, I mean, it could have been better, right? <laughs> pretty, pretty, pretty bad uh, principal and all that, but. <laughs> no, um, it, it actually, basically for the four years that I've been here, everything has gotten way better. So for the first year, I um, I had like one or two friends who were a pretty bad influence on me. Uh, and then for the second year, I actually made real friends. And from there, it was pretty good. I was just generally happier. I think I've gotten uh, s almost straight A's. I got a B in Spanish last year, so that's fun. Um, but. A lot of this, the reason that I become more social is because of the Dungeons and Dragons stuff. It's because I get, I make friends. I'm like, hey, you want to play this? And then they come over to my place, and we just stay, and we play for like eight hours. <laughs> so we get to know each other. I make friends. We talk in school. We talk out of school. I'm just generally happier because that's how social stuff works, apparently. Uh, unfortunately for a lot of people, especially, you know, all, all those unfortunate people living on their own on a desert island or something. Poor, poor people, you know. Uh, no, not poor, not poor economy. <laughs> uh, but through playing Dungeons and Dragons, I got to, well, through the engineering class here, uh, I didn't really use the skills, but it, we used CAD programs, which is for like, designing 3D stuff like these. Uh, and I didn't really use that for probably the first year, and then I played Dungeons and Dragons for a while, and I'm like, wow, I have a board, but I have no pieces. I should probably design them. And then over the next, what, three years, uh, I ended up designing things like this. It's like a sword and a stone. It's pretty cool, right? And it's actually a playing piece. It fits perfectly on the board. And my friends and I used them. Used them. I don't use the board anymore. Um, and it's just, it's made everything better, and I've, it made me realize what I enjoy doing, which is this CAD designing stuff. So I'm like, okay, well, what colleges are similar to this school in that they're small? And what colleges are also in engineering schools so that I can do stuff like this or just other similar things? I'm like, oh, Montana Tech, that's pretty cool. I like that one. It's pretty cold too, not all this dry, weather does not. <laughs> um, so I ended up, I actually got the, uh, put in the application for it, got, all, got uh, approved and all that, so that's cool. Um, and it's just, it's pretty great because I wouldn't have made friends and I wouldn't have actually been successful in my life if it weren't for the fact that this is a small school with a great principal, great teachers, and great people that go here. Uh, and I want to just quickly thank all of these sponsors as well, because uh, you all help with really anything that has to do with money. That's sort of the point of sponsors. Right? <laughs> uh, I, I, I don't think you would. Uh, I don't think you would be here if you don't just, you know, like 
give money. <laughs> so um, I, I want to thank you guys so much. And same with the uh, Chamber of Commerce. Uh, you guys are good with money too. <laughs> I'm a math teacher at Trade Tech, and um, he even got me to play Dungeons and Dragons too, senior game night. I was pretty good, I think, right? Hey, go dragon. Yeah, I killed the dragon, so my first time. <laughs> um, well, I had the pleasure of having Tony in two classes, actually, uh, my pre-calculus class and in my advisory, which is like a homeroom. And um, in advisory, um, I actually have more opportunity to talk to Tony, and I get to see a different side of Tony in that class, which is great. Um, we get to have more different, a variety of different conversations that I don't, that pre calculus doesn't permit the time for. And in that, in those conversations, I get to see his passion for things like Dungeons and Dragons, and it's for his academics. But um, I also get to see how much effort he puts into everything he does. And I know he'll disagree with me on that, but he puts effort into everything he does. And Tony's always offering to help, like um, planning senior activities and um, taking the lead on our advisory-based project. And in that, he is very good at um, having everyone else give as much effort as he does. And I think that's a big difference he makes in all the classes he has, is he's always having students have the same effort, or give the same effort he does. And they seem to eventually pick up on that and have a similar outlook to life like he does. And I think it's a big, a big difference he makes, and it's just, very inspiring to see. So the other night I came home and uh, my wife and, and Tony actually met me at the door and said, uh, hey, you know, got good news, you know, this rising star, Al uh, Tony, sorry, Alex is my oldest. <laughs> For all, all you parents, yeah, you swap around, right? Um, <laughs> over here for home. Um, <laughs> but no, so, so they were uh, at the door saying, you know, hey, we got this rising star, Tony has to give a two and a half minute speech, right? And on the agenda, you have to speak, oh, okay. And, and it's 45 seconds, and then they sort of chuckle a little and they go so yeah in 45 seconds you're supposed to uh, brag on your son mm -hmm. brag on your your son's school and thank the uh, Chamber of Commerce for their vision on, on where to go and then they uh, all started laughing they go never once have you been given a microphone and you stopped at 45 seconds <laughs> so they bet how long I could make it if I could pick any one of those things in 45 seconds and I officially have lost the bet so, <laughs> with that being said, you, you heard actually uh, Tony talk quite a bit about Dungeons and Dragons, and I'll give a little background on that. So, um, in, in all seriousness, when he was in eighth grade, he really didn't want to do anything with any students at all, any, anyone, right? He stayed at his computer, didn't want to talk to anyone. You know, God forbid you have to shake hands with someone and, you know, make a, a connection at all. But then he, he started coming here got into a lot of design and creation. One of, the, one of the clubs that he actually tried to create was he, he came home and said, hey dad, I wanna create, I wanna do a creative writing club. I'm gonna get a whole bunch of teenage boys together and write stories. It's like, good luck, son. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, but, but the creativity is what came out of it. And after a, a couple of the uh, sessions where no one actually wanted to sit in a room after school and do more <laughs> story writing um, and essays, they, they said, no, no, let, let's actually create a group where we tell stories and then we'll take the, uh, the stuff that we've learned at, at Trade Tech and start building all kinds of things. So, you know, these are some of the small stuff that he's built, but uh, because we, we moved from the East Coast several years ago, ended up they, they built a, uh, a whole camera system and they do video conferencing with the kids across the country, pulling in, you know, even some other friends who can't get to the house because maybe they're too far away. Um, you know, th these kind of things where what he's discovered is sort of his love for design, creation, and ultimately growing from really when he started here, he had absolutely, you know, no direction on what he wanted to do, really wasn't doing good in school, to all of a sudden, you know, coming home and going, no, no, I want to be a, I want to be an industrial designer, I want to be a mechanical engineer, I want to go create cool things. And that's really what we've seen out of the four years is this whole love of creation, tied to you know, a strong technical and mathematical um, education that we really see is what, what he's achieved out of all this. 
So that's that's for all the uh, the standing and joking. Um, and, and as you can see, there there is a whole lot of uh, humor and everything uh, that that rolls through his life and everything. So so you know these are really what uh, what we really want to thank everyone for. So as I clearly lost my 45 second uh, 45 second bet with my wife. Um, I, I would also like to, you know, thank uh, Trade Tech for, you know, bringing out, uh, bringing out Tony out of his shell. Maybe we could put him back a little bit. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and, and for the Chamber of Commerce for, you know, really setting up this program, recognizing all the uh, all the students here. Um, you know, I, I've heard some real amazing stories and everything, and you know, I wish uh, wish everyone well. And uh, with that. And valet parking. <laughs> yes. uh, once again, students, congratulations. You guys are amazing. You didn't get chosen by accident. You really are the best your school has to offer, and you need to take that away from today. Uh, it, it's pretty amazing to see the six of you in this room and just know that you're going to achieve great things. And this world is going to be a better place because of kids like you. When adults always say, oh, this world, all oh, these kids, it's like, yeah, take a look at these kids. Just take a look at them. I'm proud of them. So it, it's pretty amazing. We've got just great kids. And sponsors and Chaber, you guys do a great job recognizing that. This is an amazing program, so thank you. With that, I